All right, we're live. Fantastic. Good to be back on the live stream on a Saturday. Got the mic here, so let me know if it sounds good. If you're watching the replay, please let me know in the comments if it sounds good. I appreciate you being here on a Saturday or watching the replay or whatnot. I appreciate it. All right. Jerome is up early. I had to get Jerome up early to do the camera. All right. Now, we are talking about some leveraging your personal credit for business credit. What is a hybrid mix? What are the secrets about business credit that a lot of people aren't telling you that you can apply today? You can get stuff squared away today on your own without paying somebody else to help you do it, right? So we've talked about funding here. We've talked about business credit, business funding. It's possible. We have a website that if you want to go through us, I'm going to put up here, okay? People are coming in now, so I'm going to have to greet them as well. But I'm going to put in the chat right now our ALG business credit website so you can get into the business credit, okay? We're going to get into all this good stuff right now. All right. Hello, Kevin Mitchell, Blacktop 9000. Um, Kwani Lindsay, hello. How are you? Brian Wright, subscribe, tribe, baby. Appreciate you. Awesome. Good to see you. Michael, my man. Michael, my guy. Appreciate you. Hello, Sonia and Sophia. Oh, also, let me put my email address in here. I know sometimes I can miss a few live chats and, and whatnot. Let me make sure I put on, it puts it at top chat. I need to put it on live chat. That's right. So I can see everybody. Also, if I miss anything, I apologize. We go quickly through these webinars, these lectures, these Q&As and things like this. We only have so much time. I have to get back to the emails and sending out the disputes and the customer service and all this great stuff, business stuff, which is fantastic. But sometimes I miss things. So I'm putting my email address here for you. Okay. So if you miss anything, you can get into it. All right. We're going to have a few people coming in. I know. We started maybe three, four, five minutes early here. I want to make sure that I'm nice and early so we can get everybody in. I hope you got my email notification as well. If you haven't gotten on the email list, I've been sending out email lists with the time and date when these live streams are happening now, right? So I sent something out on Thursday when the live stream was happening, sent a reminder out on Friday night. And my business partner was actually like, I got the email is late. It's a Friday night. It's telling me for Saturday morning and I just sent out an email now so you get those so if you're not on that Brian said it got I got the email all right so if you're not on that I'm gonna put up where you can get it the subscribe tribe.com all right excellent well, let's start something off very nice here all right let's get get into this Anthony Radford wrote in an email to the subscribe tribe recently greetings this has been awesome by listening to your videos and following your instructions I've raised my scores over 200 points across the three bureaus. I just got off the phone with Bank of America getting approved for a Visa credit card with Bank of America. Brandon is a blessing to those who will listen. I'd like to say if there's one thing to remember, that it is to be diligent and it will turn around. Again, thank you for the motivation. Amex, Chase, and a new home, here I come. Grateful. Anthony Radford. Thank you, Mr. Radford. Appreciate you. And I appreciate you, everyone getting out up early on the weekend and knocking this out. Mac Jetson, thank you very much for the super chat. I know people want to get their questions answered. We've got a great fam here. Hey, fam. Hey, Brandon. Good. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Sonia wants to join the Awesome Life Group. Let me put in the awesomelifegroup.com. All right. The awesomelifegroup.com, where we can do it for you at the Awesome Life Group. Or you can do this for yourself at 609creditrepair.com. Now, this is repairing your credit. And once you've got your credit repaired, once you've got good things going, you want to leverage that for freedom, for business, right? A lot of people ask me business credit, all this great stuff. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Even though we have funding, even though we can help you out, figure out how to apply for loans, funding, business, credit cards, potentially no personal guarantee, business credit, as long as your business is creating some type of revenue, then yes, that's a possibility. However, aside from I put up our ALG business credit site, okay? However, what we're going to go over is how you can do it for yourself, okay? I'm going to teach you this, how this process works for yourself. So you don't have to go through anyone. You don't have to go through a middleman. You have the knowledge and the power. Now, if you say, hey, Brandon, I don't got time, all right, and I need you to, to do it, then so be it, of course. But I want you to be empowered. So here we go. So then I'm going to put up this website for y'all. 
in the chat here because y'all on the live stream, okay? Get tight, Jerome. Jerome, no slacking, brother. All right, get tight. When the tribe is in, you got to work, Jerome, okay? Now, we've talked about NAV, N-A-V.com, NAV.com. Now, I don't know how many people have leveraged NAV, okay? But I'm looking at our NAV right now. I'm looking at our NAV right now. I'm navigating to our NAV.com, okay? It starts as a free subscription. You can get it free. Mega Media Hangout says, I got it, but no credit cards in it, no cards yet. Okay, nav, nav.com. So you can navigate through nav.com for free. All right, now we pay a little bit more for the premium. We wanna make sure that we've getting all of our crazy reports. I'm gonna tell you what right now, I'm looking at Experian IntelliScore Plus V2. Experian, that is a business credit score. Some of you may or may not know, but that's a business credit score. Dunn and Bradstreet, Paydex. That's ours. It's sitting here right here. I'm looking at it. Intelliscore is the Experian. Experian Telescore. So if someone's like, hey, what's your paid X score? You know that's done in Bradstreet. Hey, what's your Intelliscore? That's Experian. Business risk grade from Equifax. Equifax does grades. All right, NAV $24.99. That's what they're saying. If you pay for it, okay? They have a free subscription too. You can get started, okay? Get started with the free. All right, but yeah, $24.99. It's a good deal because you're going to leverage this business credit for big funding. Okay. So now you're like, look, Brandon, now I know I got an experience score. I got a Dun & Bradstreet Paydex number. I didn't even know there was an Equifax business risk grade like you're in school, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay. Or whatever it is, right? Whatever your score might be. And there's a FICO small business scoring service, SBSS. Those are your business scores. Okay, this is a good question. Is it possible to have good credit with high credit card utilization? I'm diligently paying down my credit cards, but I want to be prepared for my home. Okay, you want to make sure that you're under a certain amount to have good credit. Typically, no. High utilization, you're even saying high utilization, good credit, probably not. Excellent credit, no. Good credit, probably not. Fair, maybe. Average, okay right? Under 7% is that magic utilization. Now, as it goes higher, your score might come down. But under 7% is the absolute top, right? 0-7%. That's where you find now. Now, what does that have to do with your business side? Well, now, I'm looking at NAV, and it's got personal scores in here, too. And I said, Brandon, what? It's got Vantage personal scores in here? What the, what the freak? What's going on? Okay, so what they're doing sometimes is what's called a hybrid style of funding. Hybrid, we've heard of this, and it might be the first time. I don't know if you've heard of this or not, but it might be. Kevin Williams went from 585 to 715 in over nine months. Thanks, Brad. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate you. Okay, so you're looking at your scores. You're like, this is great. And to have an SBA loan through your business, your business has to have at least a 160 with FICO SBSS. FICO SBSS is calculated using a combination of your Experian personal and business credit reports. So even if you have good personal credit, you still need a good personal credit, or excuse me, a good business FICO SBSS score to get a business, small business administration loan. And they're looking at your size of your industry, the industry you're in, your revenue, how many years you've been in business, about two years, for that specific S, uh, SBA loan. So some people will be like, look, man, I'm looking for funding. I want to get my business credit. I'm trying to get money. I, how do I do it? Well, not everybody's going to tell you and sit you down and say, Hey, you can get the credit cards. You can go through the, you can go through the tiers of uh, working on your no personal guarantee business. But when it comes down to an SBA loan, and when they see that you have a mixture of your Experian personal and business credit reports, that is what is going to make up potentially your SBSS FICO uh, SBA loan qualifications. Okay, it's very specific stuff, very specific. So you want to make sure that you've got your nav.com, 
You're looking at it. You're seeing, I'm in here right now looking at our stuff, making sure we're on it, okay? It doesn't just stop when you get your funding. When you get your funding, okay? It doesn't just stop. People say, hey, I want to get that funding. Sure, you got the funding. But what happens when you want to get commercial real estate for your company or another truck for your company or another home for your real estate company or another equipment source or grill or whatever it is that you need? And you say, you know what? I want to use my money like soldiers, right? I'm not trying to give up all my capital, my cash. I'm trying to get me a funding alone so I can have this stuff on whatever it is, right? So you got commercial real estate and now somebody's paying off your loan while you still keep your capital. Somebody else is building your wealth because you knew how to create a FICO SBSS score so you could get an SBA loan, get your commercial real estate. Now you got, now you're the landlord. Now somebody's paying your commercial mortgage while using somebody else's money, a bank's money, other people paying your bank note for your property. And so all those resources and all that capital that your business has, you can maintain that for operations. You see how powerful this stuff is? And this is why you want to get your personal stuff squared away. People will tell you, they'll say, hey, man, you can get no personal guarantee credit. Yes, of course you can. You can get certain things with no personal guarantee. Certain things you can continue to get with no personal guarantee, even though they must look at your Experian personal reports, okay? Nobody's saying that you have to necessarily personally guarantee it. They're just going to look at your reports. This is that hybrid we're talking about. This is why, okay? So the idea here, is that you are taking control of your own business credit funding. Now you're saying, Brandon, okay, you're telling us some stuff that can be helpful, but how do I get started? Excellent. So here is the site to get your Dun & Bradstreet number, okay? Okay, these are great questions here. So why potentially could my score drop after paying down my loans, my personal loans, that kind of stuff. Now, if you paid your loans quicker, if you paid your loans quicker, there isn't necessarily a penalty, but what they're seeing is now you don't have that line of trade open anymore, okay? Your trade line is now closed. That trade line got paid down quickly. I had a friend go through a similar process with their car. They are paying it down quickly. Didn't really raise it or affect it. Now, I am actually looking at our nav.com for our business side. And it says, I go, I click over to alerts because it, it gives you all sorts of stuff. And it says, hey, your Experian business score decreased. I look at the details and say, hey, your credit score has changed. It's not uncommon for business credit scores to fluctuate slightly. Just check your report to see the changes of factors that may have caused it. Similarly, it's not uncommon for personal credit to fluctuate as well. So I've utilized my credit in the past, then I see it go down. Even after paying, what's going on? They see up and down, you're paying, you're met. They're not sure if you're gonna use it again. They're worried that you might not be utilizing credit. They want people utilizing credit all the time. So you pay something off, yeah, sure. Prime, shortly when it closes, yes, okay, yes, of course. It's a closed account now, it's all done. So it'll come down a little bit, but over time it's gonna go up. I've seen it, I've seen it with my personal credit, okay? We've seen it with our business credit. Now, if I'm looking through nav.com and I've said, okay, cool, you know, let me make sure you get that down on Bradstreet number. Now you have your DNB number, you've got your EIN, which you can get on the government website. Now I'm not gonna tell you how to structure your business. That's your business, right? You need an LLC, an S Corp or a C Corp whatever corporation, whatever limited liability company you're doing, that's fine. But you'll need an EIN so you can get that employer identification number so you can utilize that for your lines of credit. That's the social security number for the business. So you're not using your social security, all right? Now, 
we are going to get to all these comments and questions and all these things as we go through this uh, live stream and at towards the end i'm gonna make sure half of it's all your questions okay so we'll customize and tailor your needs here on this live stream so michael johnson cool man thanks for always answering my question i was going to ask jerome <laughs> jerome jerome should be jumping on these live streams as to these questions jerome all right so now you got your done brad stream number now you got your nav.com you're looking around you got your vendors. Now, here's the thing with your vendors. Here's the thing with your vendors. You are going to have a standard industry code, which is an SIC. Okay. It's a simple four code. It basically breaks it down because they look at codes for industries. Okay. And or you might have an NAICS code, National American Industry Classification Codes. Okay. These codes will have things like 291, General Farms, okay? And I'm looking at a bunch of, I mean, there's so many codes. I'm looking at them right now. There is a bunch, food food products and beverages. Um, I mean, there's a lot of codes here. Okay, so general business, you want to make sure, hey, crab out of the bucket. What up, B. Randon? Hey, so SIC code. So they had the wrong SIC code in for us. So we had to call them up. And this is what's interesting about being on the business side. You are now the customer to some degree. Okay. You're not the consumer side, you're in the business side. So it's a little different, a little bit more customer. So it's easy. Uh, what SIC code to use? What code should I use? That's correct. So it depends on what you're doing you might have some overlapping codes. It's up to you what your code is for your industry. So maybe you're a truck driver, your trucking company, trucking industry, you need a code that represents that, haul, freight, whatever it might be, okay? Sometimes there's overlapping codes, you wanna pick the best code for you. Some codes are more risky for lenders, and this is what people won't tell you. People are not gonna tell you that your SIC code or your N AICS code. These codes that classify your industry and then it puts you and then it says what industry you're in might be more risky. Okay. So you might actually have a freight company when it is, um, I don't know, import export business. Okay. There might be some overlap. You might need to find the right code that works for you that may or may not be as risky to lenders. So now you're looking at things beyond just what the score is. The score is great. Your personal score is great, but they're going to look at all sorts of things. They're going to look at revenue, right? Just like us. Just like us. You want to buy a home? You want to buy some big property? They're not just going to say, oh, well, here's your credit score. You're good to go. They did that in the past, remember? And that didn't work out so well for the mortgage companies. Similar to business. Business used to be very easy back 20 years ago. They were like, oh, whatever. Boom. You get your funding. But now they're looking at all sorts of things. So you're looking at your industry. Okay. So now you got your industry in there, right? You got your personnel in there, right? If you have employees or not, you've been reporting your trade lines, your vendors, your accounts that are in there because they don't always report all the time, every time. We've seen that on the personal side and the business side. So you might have to call up your vendors. Hey, you're not reporting. Hey, you got to call up Experian. You got to call them up. Hey, what's going on? Okay. So you're going through that process. You're looking at this on that. You're getting your NAD reports. You're getting your business credit reports looking good. You're doing this all on your own. You don't have to, you can email me. Okay, I got an email here. We've got the algbusinesscredit.com consult with us. Gee, business credit. If you need to get help with this, all right, you're like, it's a lot, Brandon. I need help with this. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now it's all looking good. Your business looking good. Your personal's looking good. You can actually click over on Nav, and you can actually click financing. Okay. And it will pre-qualify you for funding. You can ask what type of funding you want. Funding speed: few days, one to two weeks, three months, next month, three plus months. The amount you're looking for, it'll match you up. This is just. The free side. This isn't going through our 
relationships with our banks, our underwriters, okay? Other options, okay? This is one option. This is an option for you to utilize it. So you're not paying any minimize. You're just going right to get an SB loan with maybe Smart Biz, or you're going through a line of credit with Blue Vine or Cabbage or something like this. Now, I'm not saying it's the best. I'm not saying it's the best. What I'm telling you is you can do it for yourself. You can do this for yourself. You can take the power. You don't have to worry about it, okay? All right, now. Aside from that, from this funding, eight, nine, ten percent here, funding amounts thirty to three hundred fifty k. All this stuff, SBA loan, is the one thing that they pop up here, right? Now it does take a personal guarantee, so you might not not want that one. Okay, there are other funding down there as well. You can click over to credit cards. It will match you up with all the credit cards you're looking for. So people have asked me, hey Brandon, what credit card do you think is best for my company? What do you think I should get? It depends on your scenario and your situation. Maybe you want a zero annual fee card that gives you cash back, or maybe you're willing to pay a little fee and get travel miles or points, cash back, sign up bonuses. You can click all of these things, cash back, miles, points, sign up bonus, all this stuff. You can see what's right for your company. If it has a 0% for 15 months that you can utilize for your company to get it off the ground, all right? These are some of the things that you can utilize. Now, that's all on business side. And that's using business credit, your personal credit, this hybrid style, okay? You can do this for yourself. You can look into it. You can repair your credit so you can be ready to rock and roll for your business funding, your business needs. You can get the things that you require for your business. And people say, hey, I, you know, I wanted no personal guarantee. Absolutely. It's a possibility. You can go through that and build the vendors. But like I said, when you start getting to these big boy numbers, 350K, right? I was just talking about that SBA loan, the 30K to 350K, they're going to look at, you may not necessarily, you, you might have the person get to, you may not, but they might be looking at your personal experience score. They might be looking at your personal stuff. And it might need to match up with what you're doing in this business, what your employees look like, what your revenue looks like. You can show the revenue to these business bureaus through NAV. And now you have a better bank score. The bank is also going to be pleased about what you're doing in revenue and whatever bank you're looking into. There's a lot that goes into it, much like qualifying for a home, qualifying for something on the personal side. And speaking of qualifying for things on the personal side, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to avoid all these hard inquiries with the, with the car dealerships and some secrets that they don't tell you about the car dealership as well. You know, there's things in there that we had to deal with that we're going to get into, but people are asking their questions and we're going to get to some of these questions and we'll go back and forth and make sure this is going well. Also, if you need to repair your credit, 609creditrepair.com. You're watching the replay, jump on the subscribe tribe.com to get the email notifications next time I go live so you can be on the live stream and at theawesomelifegroup.com, we can do it for you. All right, let's get into some questions, and we'll get back into all this business stuff. So you have business credit questions. We'll talk about how to get away from the car dealerships, and we'll answer. Can you start building business credit before your business actually starts? All right. So to actually start your company, you would need a company like an EIN number. You'll actually need a business, okay? So that's like putting the cart before the horse. You will need a business of some degree to start building business credit. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be generating revenue to build business credit. It's helpful. That's how you can build no personal guarantee business credit. However, your specific scenario, what are you talking about, Lauren? In general, that's what it is. But what's your specific scenario? All right, let's see. Sean T, your question, sir. Foxy Vet, I feel like you might have been in the military. All right, thank you for your service. I appreciate it. Uh, it could take a few rounds. You might get results right out of the gate. Some people, it might take a few rounds. Uh, it just depends on your scenario. Some people might have a few collections charge off. Some people might have bankruptcies, foreclosures, all sorts of stuff, liens. So it just depends. Oh my God.
Nicole, great. I own residential land, getting personal credit straight to exactly what you're saying. Sent Kimberly, awesome. Sent my sent out goodwill letters to get rid of negative accounts. Thanks, Brandon. Brendan. Brendan. I appreciate you. Good work. Jerome. Jerome with an N Bates. I finally got the live stream. Good to see you. Jerome Bates. Hey, collections hasn't sent any formal documents showing any contract for these collections. All right. It's been over a month now. You can send them a non-response collection letter. We have non-response collection letters that you can send to them. You can also complain to the CFPB. Okay. You can also complain to the CFPB. I've got a video coming out of an individual who complained to the CFPB and got not only something deleted, but the company email, oh, sorry, faxed faxed him the deletion letter with the deletion confirmation number that they utilized with credit bureaus, okay? So there is a deletion confirmation number that they will sometimes utilize with the credit bureaus that you'll know that they can send to you, <laughs> okay? So complaints can help as well. We've seen it happen. That's great. Son. They have no formal documentation, no contract, no nothing. You know what to do. You know what to do. Why is it hard to get a loan after BK discharged four years ago? Okay. Well, you can dispute this bankruptcy probably in your LexisNexis, okay? After it's out of your Lexus, and this is four years ago, okay? So once it's out of your LexisNexis, you could dispute with the three bureaus again, okay? It could be challenging because they see a derogatory item. They see accounts included in bankruptcy. They get nervous. They're like, eh, what if this person does this again to us, you know? So... They get nervous. Get that negative, nasty stuff out of there. You move on with your life. Mr. Crane, Michael, and this is talking about Michael Selflender. If you paid your Selflender and it closed, yes, your score will drop because the closed accounts affect your length of credit, which is 15%. But again, temporary, temporary, you will build credit in other regards and be able to build. And that will be there as an old account. It will sit there. I have old loans, positive loans from years ago that are closed that are helping my uh, overall history. Okay. Juan, hey, Brandon, good job as always. Thank you. Hey. Can you build business credit while your personal credit is getting fixed as well? Yes, you can, Malik. Yes, you can. I actually started looking at that when I was going through it, right? I had the bad uh, personal credit, and I was like, how do I build business credit? Now, I didn't have a business at the time, so it didn't make no dang sense, right? It didn't make no sense. But if you have a business and you're going through it with your personal side, absolutely. You can be a successful entrepreneur, and not have your business credit deal, have a problem. Now, it might help you to get more funding quicker, yeah, faster, yeah, bigger lines, perhaps, that's the hybrid style. But yes, you could do it with just your business, building business credit, that's what you wanna do. You get the EIN just for your company, you got that, right? You can open up things, I really like Pitney Bowes, okay? They've been very good about our postage, dealing with all this stuff, it's been excellent, okay? EIN number could also be utilized for facilitating leases. Okay, if you need a, some office space, we've been able to do that. Of course, I've talked about Quill and Uline. We utilize them for our office supplies. Like Granger, you can get uh, first aid kits. I know a lot of it is like industrial stuff. So we're office, we use uh, first aid kits. So those are just a couple of things. What we're now getting into is Dell. Dell, we're moving up to, we use a lot of Dell computers. Why? Because they offer a line of credit, yeah? Tiger Direct, Tiger Direct is another where you can get electronics. We've utilized them for our computer stuff. These are all things you can utilize without having personal credit. You can build your credit, get into the nav.com, start building your business credit. You can do all of this on your own, or we can help you, ALG Business Credit, okay? Foxy Vet, appreciate you. You give us all hope. I appreciate you. Good to see Crab out of the bucket, Sean. Euphoria. <laughs> Q 
Carrie Stringfield. This is an excellent question. Hey, Brandon, can I use the same EIN number for more than one business? Okay. I would encourage you to use one EIN number for one business. Okay. When you're filing your reports, you're filing your return, you're filing all this stuff, you're getting the credit. EIN number is for one business. It's like your own social security number. You would just use it for yourself, right? The EIN number is just for that business, that person, that entity. I would say just one EIN number for one business. Colbert Sean, what's the less risky codes? I have a towing company and I'm high risk. Okay. Towing. Depends. You have to figure out what you are doing and what code might classify you as such. Okay. I don't know exactly what towing would be. I don't exactly know what towing is and I don't know or uh, what you facilitate when you tow. Are you towing cars, trucks? Um, I'm not even sure how you could be reclassified. Uh, but maybe you can tell me what other things you do. Jamie Vaughn, what questions do you have for me? I'm here for you and you got my email address as well, Jamie. You have the opportunity now. The repair starts now. No, you cannot carry Chris. Let's see what can. Uh, yeah, Chris also said no. You cannot use a EIN number for two businesses or more. Yeah, it's it's for one business. Yeah. Tank Diesel, what if you lease on and just want to build business credit for emergency fund? If you have a business and you want to build business credit for your emergency business needs. That's a possibility. Me and my partner, partners, we look at building business credit as a line of credit for the company if necessary. Many people do that for the personal side as well. You're like, hey, I've got credit if I need it. Or if I need to utilize something and then maybe pay it back after a period of time. It's not really an emergency, but I, you know, it's funds that are necessary or whatnot. So it's a possibility. I don't know why. Okay, so you have a score, Euphoria Makings. Uh, you have a score, I was 701. It dropped, but you don't know why. Have you looked at your three credit reports recently, Euphoria? Have you looked at them? Chris is saying, did you recently have an installment loan and like you paid off your car? Good question. I have a, oh, Euphoria says, yes. It says, I have a 2018 car. Yes, but I paid everything on time. But did you recently pay? Oh, I want to open some. Did you recently pay it off and it's closed? Do you have other good trade lines you're utilizing? Euphoria. I paid off a credit card. I stopped using it for a period of time. I was only using two credit cards. My credit score went down. I had to use at least three credit cards. They want to see revolving accounts being utilized. They want to see that people are paying on time. They actually have a, Debt industry, that's their thing. So it's unfortunate. So when we pay things off for a little period of time, it will come down, but it will go back up. Yeah, Mr. Crane, he's throwing it. it. This is great. A lot of people, uh, I like the subscribe tribes helping each other. This is great. This is fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. The live, sometimes the live stream will. Tiger Direct, does Tiger Direct report? Well, they did for us. Let's see if they still do. Oh, this is cool, man. Shop computers and electronics. Tiger Direct Business, a PCM company. 
Let's look at this stuff, man. Shoot. I don't know if you have a, maybe you have a gaming company. Who knows? People get in the gaming and the VR industry these days. They have desktops and laptops, servers, uh, software, data software. Um, I'm looking at it right now. All this, all sorts of great things that you need for your computers, for your business. Cool. Well, they were reported for us as far as I know they do, but let me know your quote unquote miles may vary. All right. How do I switch my business credit from my personal credit? I have a business credit card, I'm guessing, where it was placed on my personal credit. So that's in the inception agreement. There are some companies like Capital One that will utilize and put it on your personal credit. I learned firsthand the hard way a few years ago. Some will not. Bank of America will not put it on your personal credit. Chase won't put it on your personal credit. Amex won't put it on your personal credit which is fantastic. It doesn't eat up all your utilization. Switching it now just means that you have to move all that stuff that you're using on that credit card to the new business credit cards. If you have new business credit cards now and you can pay for those vendors and those things that you need that aren't reporting to your personal credit, that's how you would do that. But that credit card is going to stay the way it is. That's how it was created. That's how you got things going. Oh, it is a business credit card, right? Because someone was saying, call the credit card company and see if they'll let you change over to the business now that you've built good credit history. I think you have a bit. It is a business credit card, right? If it's a personal credit card, if it's a personal credit card and you're using it for business, then that was obvious, very obvious that would go to your business credit or your personal credit, not your business credit. But you're right, Chris, you're right. You could call, say, hey, look, let me open up a business credit card with y'all. And do you report to only business? You don't report to my personal side. So that's another option. All right, Miss Ambitious 88. She says, so I have four charge offs that have been sent to collections, but have yet to show on my credit reports. Should I call the original creditors and send collection agency a validation letter? Now, you could send the collection validation letter if you'd like now. Calling the original creditors may not be the best option. Now, I'm not sure what you would do calling them. What would you think? What, are, what would your option be there? But I think you would rather dispute with the bureaus. Okay. Oh, okay. We're going to get into this. This is about business loans. You need to dispute with the bureaus these charge-offs. Okay. And send your validation letters. If they pop up on your reports, then you can dispute with the six and nine dispute letters to the bureaus for these collections, all right? But if you get out ahead of it, you might be all right. Coupon and wit, Miss Kina, who was talking about a business credit and personal credit and all this stuff. These are business loans that are now on our personal side. So you gave a personal guarantee for these and they put it on your personal. That was part of the agreement, I guess, for that bank. And you'd be cautious about this. This is a good lesson, be cautious about that. There are some that will only report to your business reports. Okay, so that's part of your inception. So you could talk to them and ask them, but they don't necessarily have to, right? So what you would want to do is you want to transition from a business loan, from a personal business loan to just a personal, to just a business loan that doesn't require that personal guarantee. And you could transfer that over, right? Balance transfer of either credit cards or paying off one loan for another. That's an option for you. Do you recommend for startup business to start building business credit? Yeah, absolutely. You definitely can you definitely can. That's a great time to do it. Now, it might not be your, you know, number one thing. You might have all sorts of other things to handle so you can handle your business credit when you're ready to rock and roll. It's not something that you have to rush into if you feel like you've got, you know, you've got to get desks and you've got to get computers and you got to get stuff that um, you just don't have the time or the resources to worry about business credit. But if you're starting up and you're going to put money into it, you might as well get credit for that, business credit for that. 
if you are going to get computers and desks and chairs and all this stuff, right? So it's a good time to start. Yes, yeah, Sephora. Uh, let's see. You can email me. Facebook and email me. Okay. That's business credit cards. It's interesting. So maybe you missed. So in nav.com, when you know, it'll show you all your business credit card options. The best is difficult to define for you in your company. So you might want something that's 0% for 15 months. You might want something that gives you Amex membership rewards points. You might want something that gives you Chase business points. You might want something that's cash back, 2% cash back or whatever it might be, 1.5% cash back or 2% cash back. Your business credit card needs might be different. You might travel a lot. You need something that has really good travel, okay? Really good travel benefits. There's a lot of benefits for the Amex business cards that go beyond just their membership reward points. So it depends on what you need in your business. Will the portfolio recoveries hinder me from funding? So Coach V, you have a collection from portfolio. Typically, no collections is important. And only, there can be a couple late payments from 30 days. Uh, nothing more than 30 days, a couple lates. But typically, no collections, a 650 uh, FICO, no collections, no big charge offs derogatories like that, then you're just pretty good to go. So that one collection might hold you back from funding. So that's something that you're going to want to get tipped squared away. Dispute this negative, nasty, unverified account, 609creditrepair.com. We can do the work for you at the awesome life group.com. Okay. Something I do want to go over with you real quickly because people are doing fleets. Okay. People are doing trucking. People are doing uh, fleet. You can actually buy fleets from dealerships, well, not from dealerships, right from the manufacturers. Some people, I actually met an entrepreneur. Her whole thing was having um, driver's limos and things like this, okay? Now it's building business credit and all this good stuff, revenue and banking score and all this great stuff. You wanna deal with these dealerships getting these cars. People are getting cars. I keep getting emails, of individuals getting their credit run 15, 20, 30 times, okay? Here's some tricks for this dealerships and uh, we'll go over this real quick. We'll get back to your questions and answers and all your stuff about uh, how to build your credit and your business credit and funding needs. Okay. So we've talked about building a relationship with your credit union, getting a good credit union, getting somebody that you trust that's only going to pull your score one time. We know that. Hey, Brandon, we know that. That's fine. Okay. And having your good credit. We've talked about building your good credit, how you can do so. Not all these live streams, all these videos, all this good stuff. But you're saying, hey, Brandon, I got good credit. I'm trying to get my car. Somebody was emailing them trying to get their, you know, dream car. And they're saying, hey, my income supports it, but my credit doesn't. Okay. Disputing these negative nasty items, getting these collections off, these charge offs off, building good credit. That the My Jewelers Club cards and the DSX designs and, you know, the Chase and the, all these great things that we've talked about. Just last week, we talked about how you can get 26K in primary train lines. So if you are dealing with a credit utilization issue or you need more revolving good credit, you want to take a look at our video. I'm going to tell you this. Okay. Thank you very much, Matthew, for the super chat. Hi, need to apply for lease soon. Okay, so I'm assuming for an apartment. But default student loans are now in rehab, made to payments. Removable before nine months are up. Focus, Equifax. Okay, it's focusing on Equifax. Repo... CO collection and a few years ago. Okay. So your focus is equal facts. I'm assuming because that's where they're going to pull from. Okay. Sorry. I had a little spam issue there. Okay. Is it possible? Sure. It may be possible. It may be possible. 
but you're going to have to go through the dispute process. I actually got somebody who emailed in recently and I just made a video of somebody getting their student loans removed. Okay. You can go through the dispute process. Now you've signed to do a rehabilitation program. So it's a little bit different before you got to me. Maybe you did the rehabilitation program, right? So you have to go through this process to get all good on time payment history, but it still doesn't mean that you can't dispute and potentially get them off. Now, have you talked, and I'm gonna look down here, have you talked to these individuals who you wanna sign a lease for? Have you talked to them that you're in a rehab program? Do you know that you're going to be disqualified for your lease? If this lease is for, is it for a car or an apartment, right? I'm not really sure, or some commercial real estate or something like that, all right? Repossession, you're gonna have to dispute, you're gonna have to get that nasty negative stuff off, okay? And we have the repossession deficiency letter. You can get that in our Beyond Committed Package, 609credipair.com. We can do the work for at the Awesome Life Group, okay? Thank you very much. Someone in a super chat but retracted the message. I don't know if they had a question. I don't know who they are. Hey, does anyone know where Navy Fed Credit Union pulls from? Navy Fed. Sometimes it's hard to know which every single bank pulls from what bureau. So let me look it up. Maybe someone knows where Navy Federal Credit Union pulls from. Help the tribe out. Now, when I was talking about these dealerships, sure, you're good to go. You got your own financing. You're good to rock and roll, all this stuff. <clears throat> you go in the dealership, and what they might tell you before you bring them the check, because okay, you've got your own financing, but you don't have the check yet. You've been pre-approved. You don't have that cashier's check. They can't get, the credit union can't give you a cashier's check until that dealership gives you a purchase order, a piece of paper. That dealership knows as soon as they give you that purchase order that you can go get your funding and you can give it to them, okay? So you're thinking, Brandon, I'm good, man. I got my own funding. I ain't getting no credit polls, no nothing. This is easy. This is where people will kind of mess up a little bit. They got to get a signed purchase order from the dealership. They've got to fill it out, sign it, all that stuff, give it to you. Then you can take it to your credit union so they can inspect it and prove it and make sure it really is what it is and you're getting a car and they can give you the money for the car. Why do they want to say that? Because they're buying the car. The credit union is buying the car and you're financing it from the credit union. Then you can go back. Now, anytime in there, anytime between this time and now, if you take that vehicle off that lot before you give them that check, that cashier's check, they will run your credit. Don't believe anything that they tell you otherwise. If you do not give them cash or that credit, that cashier's check, they will run your credit and they will do all sorts of things. They will give you a purchase order and they will even say, look, we can put in a contract for you. If you love this car, right? You love this car. You love this Mercedes. You love this Dodge. You love this whatever it is, this BMW. You love this car. You can leave this car today, drive to the bank and get you your cashier's check, whatever, right? Take it home. Take, think about it. Take it home three days. Three days. They always say this. Three days contracts, right? We'll, we'll put a contract in for you. And if you don't come back in three days and you want the vehicle, we can still look at financing for you because, you, you know, we don't know if you're going to get financing from your credit union. So in three days, we might put the contract in for you, see if we can get financing in-house, and then you can get your car. Or like they say, hey, you love it so much, you can go take the car today, and we'll just put this contract in for you today so you can get financing through us. If you take the vehicle, they will run your credit. You have to pay, and you get the car. You either pay, and you, get your, you have your financing, you get your car. That's how you do it. They will try to finagle and get you into their financing as quickly as possible. They do not care if you get that cashier's check from the credit union because they don't make as much money. Okay? They make money by marking up the rate for their financing. And to do so, they run your credit down as much as they can. All right, now, I'm seeing a few comments and questions here. I also want to see where Navy Federal Credit Union pulls from, if anybody knows. Good question. K, 
Can I put a car in my business name? That's a great way to tie it all in. Yes, you can. However, talk to your tax professionals. Talk to them on how that will work out for you. Business expense, right? Because there might be some scenarios where it's a fringe benefit or it's a business expense or whatever. So it depends on you. If you've got a fleet of cars and it's all for business and it's for, you know, limo service or driving people around to and from or tourists, tourists or whatever, and it's all business, then of course it's all business. But if you want to put a car in your business name and you want to roll around in it and then, you know, that's between you and your accountants and you got to figure that out. Okay. But yes, it is possible. And the company can pay for it or lease it. You can even lease it. John Holiday says Navy Federal Credit Union pulls from TransUnion. If you apply for a credit card, if you want a car loan, they pull from Equifax. If they give you a credit limit increase, they will do a soft pull from Equifax. That's great. Lisa Siva, my business only. So it's only going to be for business. Then yeah, probably can do that. No problem. Uh, Chris Burke, I've seen Navy Federal Credit Union pull from TransUnion. All right. And see, this is the thing. This is what we maybe feel okay howard says transunion okay transunion this is the thing it's hard to know and here's why and this is what i've seen and this is why you might get different answers for this all right pardon me i might have to grab a little water get a little sip sip a little sipping on some more it's because if you're in different states they might pull from different credit bureaus Yeah, that's right. I said it, Jerome. If you in different states, you might get pulled from different credit bureaus. It's a possibility. Different banks, different credit unions might pull from different um, situations from different states, potentially. It could be one of the reasons. And again, it could be you want a credit line increase, you want a credit card, you want a loan, you want a business, you want a home. It, it, it changes. So it can be challenging. So people ask where you pull from. Ask them. Before they pull, ask them where they pull from. They will probably tell you, okay? My prerogative. Oh, my underscore prerogative. Okay. Thank you very much for the super chats. Um, I know you rejected your last message, but in Aaron, but here it is now. Okay. How do I get a public tenant court record sealed or expunged with the courts? Okay, this is a legal question. So I can't give any legal advice. But what you could do is you could talk to the courts and ask them that question, see how that could work. Talk to your lawyer, a lawyer. A lot of them give free consultations. In the scenarios with this, there usually is some way to do it with the courts, okay? And they usually will tell you how to do it and how it needs to be done. After a certain period of time, typically, is what happens. Or if there's some error, or perhaps maybe, I don't know, you're under a certain age or something, there could be reasons. But again, I can't give any legal advice. But what I can do is I can give you a nice site for consumer advocates to find a an attorney in your area. And many, many, I'm not saying all, but many do free consultations. So you can ask them and they might walk you through the process. Much like I would walk you through the process of this nav.com of getting business credit on your own, doing these things on your own. They might walk you through the process and teach you. It might be a very simple thing. Okay. Got, I think we got Luke. Did I see Luke? Our team member Luke on the chat. Yes, Luke. All right. Thanks for being here, Luke. Luke is one of our team members in the office right now. All right. Let's see what other questions you have. Coupon and wit, wit Miss Kina. Every time I give out my EIN number, they say I don't have no business credit. I've been in business 10 years. This is what you need to do, coupon, and this is this is where we start. You need to get on that nav.com and you need to see what business credit you have. Because they're telling you one thing. People trying to go through funding, right? I don't know. I don't know this. Nav.com, you can get your reports. You can get those reports. You can get your done registry number. They even have support. Walk you through for free teach you some of the stuff. 
ALG business credit. We can help you out as well. Okay. These are the types of things that you want to make sure that you are doing because that way you've been in business 10 years. Nobody's told this is, this is what I'm telling you. If you're watching this video right now, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. So when I go live, you can get this type of information because you've been in business 10 years. Nobody's told you, Hey, go to nav.com, go get these, the Dunn's number, go look at your business credit, find out what's on there, get these vendors, make sure your SIC codes are good. Make sure that when you go to a bank, you're good to go. Brian King here, Brandon, does Navy Fed give you credit card if you're not a member of the armed services? Okay, so Navy, Credo, Navy Federal Credit Union credit card application. Now, my thing is, and we're going to look into this right now, you have to be a member, okay? Let's see what it says. And people who have Navy Federal Credit Union probably know. Eligibility and membership in, <laughs> oops, I did uh, NASA. <laughs> okay, you usually have to have a, a membership in Navy Federal, okay? That doesn't mean you have to have, be in part of the armed services. So Pinky says, if you're a member, yes, but not if you're not a member, right? Exactly. So you have to be a member of Navy Federal Credit Union. But do you have to be in the armed services to be a member of Navy Federal Credit Union? No. There are other ways to get in there. Um, and I believe it's through family, right? I think that's another way. For Queen B, do you recommend, thank you for the super chat. Do you, first of all, do you recommend pulling more than just the three credit bureaus prior to disputing. The big three are important. Check into LexisNexis, CoreLogic, SageStream as well and see. Innovis can also be useful, okay? These are good recommendations. Is it mandatory? No, I didn't know. I didn't do it when I was younger and did three credit bureaus and disputed and changed my life, okay? So it's possible. I'm about to look into Navy Federal Credit Union. The other question you had was about uh, support, child support. You're in arrears, right? So that is something that is more challenging. It's not consumer debt. It's not consumer debt. It's not, it, it really even shouldn't be reported on consumer debt, right? Credit bureaus and all that stuff, but that needs legislation. They need to do stuff. It's not right. So um, support like that, you could, but you're in, or someone is ever, forever queen bee, okay? So forever. So you can email me about this. This one's a little bit more challenging and touching and difficult. So you can email me about that one. All right. All right. So back to this Navy Federal Credit Union. Look at this. I got all sorts of credit cards. They usually get big limits too. We've seen people get 20K, 40K Navy Fed. Okay. They're a little bit different. They, they give stuff out. Okay. Now, membership. Let's see how am I eligible? Thank you very much for the super chat. If you have a question, that's very good. <laughs> oh, that's funny. AJ Rich says, just, just say, this is AJ Rich. I'm just reading what AJ Rich Young Yang says. I don't know if this is true or not. I'm just reading it. All you got to do is call, say, great grand person service, grand Father and mother served in the armed forces, and they're no longer with us, and the Fed will let you in. Very easy, okay? Supposedly. I don't know if that's true. I haven't tried. I actually was in the armed services. I um, have a different bank, USAA, which is pretty cool. Maybe I'll look into getting a Navy Fed. Nah, that could be good, all right? Let's see. They have all sorts of stuff here on their site, so you can take a look. All right, we're coming up to it, so I want to make sure I get your questions answered. Also want to let you know, Yes, the Awesome Life Group, pumping it there, the theawesomelifegroup.com, all right? We can do it for you. Got people in the office right now standing by. If y'all want to sign up right now, you can. On a Saturday, yes, on a Saturday, yes. Or you can do it for yourself, 609creditrepair.com.
If you're watching this replay, you've made it this far, please give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, the bell for notifications. Jump on the subscribe tribe.com to get the email notifications as well. So you know when I go live, the time, the date, all that good stuff, the topics we're talking about, it's been excellent. You'll get reminders and I will go live at a specific time. Okay. So we're going to sign off here for the end of the day. I really appreciate all of you. This has been wonderful. It's been a gift. It's so nice. I think about Friday night, I go to bed early Friday night so I can get up and do these live streams because it's so much fun. Mark, thank you very much for the super chat. I have to pay you every Saturday for my 275 point jump. Mark, thank you so much. It's kind of you. You don't have to. You don't have to pay every Saturday, but it's very kind of you. That's very nice for your super chat. It's nice to be able to give all this good content for you, for signing up here, being a part of the subscribe tribe for free, right? So thank you very much. Very, very, very beautiful people here. Thank you so much. We are going to uh, sign off here. Jerome, all right? Jerome, we'll go get some lunch. I'll get you some lunch, Jerome, okay? You people are fantastic. You awesome. Subscribe tribe people, beautiful people. I appreciate you. Um, thank you so much. And um, yeah, I, I look forward to this every weekend. This has been a good time. Again, 609creditpair.com, the awesome life group. We can do it for you. I'm going to put my email here one last time to make sure you have it. Email me if you need anything, any support. I appreciate you. Until I see you in person, I will see you. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Somebody jump, Coach V. Last minute, I, super chat. Okay, big super chat. I got to Okay. Okay, Coach V, you did go a little crazy all at once. If you applied for everything, and this is the thing, you got to watch in the set. You got to do this as you can. Okay, got to watch this. You know that applying for a lot all at once may come down a little bit because you have some inquiries, right? But over the long term, you're going to be okay. Also, AUs. I'm going to boost it back up with AU. Coach V, email me. Get you some AU real quick. If, you wanna, if you've want to. If you got a lot going on real fast, I need to know what's going on with you. If this is why you're trying to do so much so fast, maybe a little AU. Boost you back up. Get you back. No problem. All right. Also, take a look at your reports. Make sure. Okay. Now, thank you very much for the super chat. That's very nice. Now, thank you. That's a great, I know, that is a great, Everqueen. Thank you so much. That's very kind. That's that's fantastic. Okay, so, so, that's right. And you got my email. Hey, look, you got my email too. Make sure, Coach V, hello. Coach V, you do a lot. You're, you're working hard. I'm going to help you out as well. Email me right now, and uh, we'll look into um, maybe boosting your score in some other way because you did a lot all quick. And also, we'll see what these inquiries are looking like. Maybe we can dispute some of these negative, erroneous, nasty items off, okay? Hit me up if you need anything. Hit the subscribe button, bell for notifications. Thank you. I love you all so very much. And until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.